Hello Retro fans, thank you for joining us again on the Retro Bite. Today I am doing F0GX and comparing it from the GameCube and the Dolphin to see what difference the emulator can make. We all know it's going to be big and beautiful. F0 GX is obviously the follow up to the amazing game on the N64 and my not so favourite amazing game on the SNES. I wasn't really a big fan of it until it hit the uh, N64, mainly because of the soundtrack, I'll be honest. I think the soundtrack on the N64 version is brilliant. It's a shame that they went for the more techno version in this one, but you know, it's still a really good fun game. What is really weird though, when you consider when, how this game plays and how it looks, is actually it's an adaptive version of the Super Monkey Ball engine that it's actually running on which is really, really weird when you think about how those two games are and how different they are. But there we go, I know that there's similar things with Mario 64 and Ocarina of Time, for instance. So who knows what kind of wizardry goes on behind the scenes to make these games work. What's really cool about this, and we obviously didn't have this in the West, was the arcade version. So you could bring your GameCube memory card with you and put it into the arcade machine or have a little printout from the arcade machine keep your scores going. Uh, that would be a great little feature, but arcades really aren't that big, but well, certainly not in the UK anymore. And that would have been really, really cool to kind of, before the days of easy access to the internet, even though obviously the game did have internet access, but wasn't quite as widespread as it is now. That would be a really fun way of going with your mates to a local arcade, playing a bit of F-Zero and then coming back and playing again at home. I'm gonna leave you with the rest of the comparison video now. Please enjoy. If you want to see anything else, do leave a message in the comments and we'll get onto it as soon as we can. 